let's consider these two drafts. You can see that these two displacement time graph is showing the moment motion of the two different cars. Can you see the difference? The upper car move faster and the lower car move slower. And let's compare it with the third displacement time graph. You can see the displacement time graph on the right hand side is a horizontal line. Now you can see the time is passed but the displacement is just the same. So the graph here is showing the car is stopped. And let's compare these three graphs. You can see that the first graph, the one with the steeper slope, compared with the second one with a fatter slope. Then the third one is a horizontal line, that means the slope of it is in zero, it's just a horizontal line. So we can see that if we have a displacement time graph in a horizontal line, means that the object is remain at rest. And if it is a slope, then we know that it is moving in a constant speed, like this. And if the slope of the graph is deeper, we should note that it moves in a higher constant speed. So when we look at the slope of the line of the displacement time graph, we will know the speed of the object. This is one key item that we have to know when we read a displacement time graph. So once again, in this two graph, we should note that if the object is at rest, when the displacement time graph is a horizontal line. So you can see that there is a portion of the time the object is at rest. And if move at a steady speed, then we will have a straight line with a slope. So you can see that in the graph, the first part of the graph showing the object is moving in a constant speed. And higher the speed, the steeper the slope. So you can see in the second graph, the first line is move, represent the object that moving faster compared with the other line, the object is moving slower. So once again, the displacement time graph is a graph that's showing the distance traveled by the object over time and we should note at the slope of the graph in order to interpret the motion of an object throughout the particular time.